Hey guys, it's Rindy, and welcome back to my dining room. It can only mean one time of year when we are in the dining room. It is beauty A to Z project pan time, and there are too many products to fit on my vanity for the intro. So this is a year-long project with the Fantastic Ladies created by Amanda and Jessica. And I think this is the third year they brought it back. This is the second year I'll be participating. It goes from the 1st of January to the 31st of December of 2020. And I am excited to show you the products that I am using. So let's get into this. So for the letter A, and it's all mixed up here on my table because I was marking things. So I have to like locate each thing. So this could be a minute. But for letter A is my age defying, mm, age fighting moisturizer from Mary Kay. And this one is here. This is the one I've been working on this year trying to use up naturally. It hasn't been in a pro project, but I figured this would be one of those products that I can finish easily for this project as I'm starting up in the new year. So for B, and disclaimer, this is going to be a very branded video, not sponsored. It just happened this way because I have a lot of samples and things I've been using from the same brand. So this is the Mary Kay Botanical Effects little sample. It's a moisturizing gel. So this is just a sample from Mary Kay. It came in the last magazine I received from my supplier. <laughs> from my representative so that's that's that so the letter C once again Mary Kay CC cream this is actually the only foundation product I have in my shade right now for winter I bought two foundations over the summer when our shop co was going out of business and they were too light for me over the summer so I was thinking it would be perfect for winter they're both too dark guys both too dark so this CC cream is the only winter shade I've got so I may not use this over the summer and then come back to it once winter hits again but for now it is the 30th of December I am pre-filming so I won't start these products until the first except for my skincare but that is what it is. So for the letter D, once again, my Mary Kay Day Solution for the time wise, this is more SPF and my CC cream also had SPF. And this one has me right there. So once again, the one I've been working on. So it should be a naturally used up product anyways, but I wanted a few things that would roll out quickly to motivate me. So Letter E, I'm finally into something not Mary Kay. This is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. And this one looks like this. And there's a fuzz on it, of course, because I have a dog's. So that looks like that. And this is, it can only be used in an eye cream. I tried to take this little pot along and use it just as an all over face cream because you know you don't need an eye cream you don't like they're all the same no this broke me out like crazy on my face but under my eyes it does fine so I will be using this a little bit at a time as an eye cream but I just want to get this little pot out of here so that I can I want to this year one of my goals is to kind of tone hone my skin care collection into products that work for me and are really good and make my skin look better than it's looking now. So that is one of the plans, getting some of this out of here or trying out some of the other things as you will see. So for the letter F, and here we go, as you will see, this is the Nicole Miller Freshen Bouncing Toner. And this is another just sample skincare stuff and that line is at this point. And now these things, I'm not going to, besides the Mario Badescu, I know this already gets along well with my Mary Kay. I will not start this line until I finish up my Mary Kay line. So I don't want to combine different skincare brands as far as this goes because I don't want a reaction. So that is letter F. So for G is this Garnier Micellar little 
plastic pack thing. There's not much in here, but it is just a sample that was chilling in a drawer and it's just time to get this kind of stuff out because I just got those um, magic eraser makeup cloths so I no longer really need anything that's makeup remover ing. So it's time to get that stuff out so I can focus on not needing the packaging, not needing the cotton pads, all of that with my makeup wipes and being more kind to the environment with my consumption. So that's my plan as far as that goes. So for H is my Becca Hydra Mist Powder and I believe my video just went up today. So this is where my Hydra Mist Powder is and it left off today. Um, I hadn't used it until or I hadn't used it since the 27th when it's, the project it was in was supposed to be gone. So that should be where I am starting off. And this one went really fast, so this may be another give me product, but that is all right with me. So where are we at? So for I is my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This guy is here. Once again, this is the only cover of there. This is the only cover effects. This is the only setting spray that I have um, that isn't SPF. So this is my illuminating one and then I also have another setting spray that's SPF that I use more in the summer just to have more SPF on my face for when it's extra sunny outside here in the UP. So that one should get worked through just fine this winter and hopefully I will be able to roll that out and look into something else because it's not my favorite thing. The sprayer kind of leaves like patches of super glittery sparkle on your face and I'm not I kind of not feeling that so it's a beautiful spray but it doesn't necessarily evenly distribute does that make sense so that is for I for J and I'm going to hold this up quickly because this is actually in my A to Z currently I am pre-filming it's the 30th today so I will use it again tomorrow so I won't mark it yet but it is the vintage eyeliner and the shade of this is jet black as you can see and I sneakily cover how much I've used so jet black so that will be for J this year although it was V last year and then because that one is down and you Stay tuned for my finale for my A to Z for 2019 because that one is down to where it's at. For K, I've got out this Wet n Wild Coal Liner. And this is a, I believe, black, but it just says Coal Liner Brow Pencil, but Coal spelled K-O-H-L like eyeliners are. So that will be the one I use after the other one is used up. And I believe I can get through these two little stubbies this year. So, for, sorry guys, I've got to like follow along on my book here. So for L, I'm bringing in the L'Oreal Get Thick Nail Treatment, and there's just this little bit left. So this is ridiculous to be sitting around and taking up space when there's that much left. And my nails right now, I'm using it because I just restarted taking my hair, skin, and nail vitamins and they really need the help right now. So I have false nails on right now, but once I take them off, I will put this on anytime I before I paint my nails, anytime before I paint my nails. So that one should get used up throughout the year. For M is my Avon lip liner, and this is in Mystery Mauve. And this one is down to this little bit and once again, this is one of those things that's sitting in here. I'm not a huge lip liner person or colored lip liner person. I'd much rather have like the universal clear liner to use with everything and streamline my collection that way. So this one can get make its way out of here. And that little bit doesn't need to be taking up space. So for N, here we go getting into more of the Nicole Miller. This is the Daytime Delivery Moisturizing Cream with SPF 16, which is a weird number. These packages are too opaque for me to see through them with the light behind them. So you'll be surprised as much as I am when it's gone. For O, I've got 
another makeup removing product. This is my Mary Kay Oil Free I Makeup Remover and it is down to here. So that is another thing that can roll out and I don't need this kind of product in my life anymore once it's gone. For P, I'm bringing back my Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner. And this one, I don't know if I will get a shot down in here. This one is decently full yet. I did have it in a shorter project in the last year. So it's getting kind of old and I just want to kind of work through it, use it as much as I can because I'm expecting this to be not good for much longer. For Q, I have brand new in the box, see how long it takes me to lose, a Dominique Cosmetics Peach Tea, it says on the box, not on my thing, Peach Tea Lip Gloss, and I actually put it on tonight, it was the first time I popped this little guy, but it is a very pretty, like, pinky lip gloss, so that should be nice and fun to use a to use until I lose. That's is that how this is working? I seem to lose all the lip glosses I put in pans. So use it till I lose it. So far our we are into the Nicole Miller Renew Creamy Cleanser. This is another one of the the opaque packages that I can't see through so it'll be a surprise for both of us. For S I have my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Sable, and this is just a brown liner, and I thought it would be fun to try and do brown, because I panned a gray liner last year, and I really enjoyed the look of it, so I thought I would try a brown, because usually I'm a very black person, and now, like, I know you see four eyeliners in here now, this would give me a different effect than like this, this would be what I actually line my eyes with, and these two would be my upper waterline pencils. That's how I use them, so they should fit a different niche in my makeup looks as the year goes on, depending on what kind of thing I'm going for. So I think I can do them all. So for T is the Cella Beauty, or Cella, not Cella Beauty, Cella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And this is this cute little brush guy. And under here, there is a little pot with eyebrow gel stuff in it. And so this is another thing that's been in around for a little while. So I want to get it used up before it starts going bad. Because it's not too bad of a match and brow product for me. So that one can start making its way out of my collection. And then I also have for you is this unique... And I have a bunch of unique products because a friend has started selling it in the last six months. So I've been supporting her and trying some of the things. So this is the unique Moodstruck Precision, Precision Brow Liner Crayon in the color medium. And does it go up and come back down? Yes, it goes up and come back down. I tried this twice maybe so far. So that is how much is left. And it's one of those little micro pencils. So... I don't have micro brows, so I think this one I can use decently well along with this. So I don't think this will take all year, and I can move into this is my plan for this project. So for W, I have my Wet n Wild Comb, 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 Comb Corrector. Celebrity Concealer, and this is right here. I marked it with red on black, but I will get some color to polish, but it bends to about there. This is the one I've been working on and using and trying to focus on, so I just figured if I got it out of here, one less concealer in my drawer, because I'm kind of working towards getting like one of a few products that don't really seem different to me like concealer a concealer is a concealer and like it's a good concealer or it's not a good concealer so I have a few concealers that I'm like they're awesome so let's use them up so I can just have one concealer I use 
and then buy another concealer. So there's my plan for this. So I'm really trying to streamline some things this year because I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of overwhelmed with some of the things I have. And I canceled BoxyCharm and all that because I was just getting too much. So now it's time to focus, streamline, figure out what I like, what I don't like, pan things that are useful but don't necessarily fit in with exactly what's happening in my life, in my collection, in my makeup routine, and see how I can streamline this collection. So anyways, we are getting there. So for X, I have the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this one, guys, is actually at the top. So this one should have a long way, a long time to show you progress for. And so that is the primer I plan on working on this year until it is gone or until it is over. One of the two. So the next thing is the Uology. This is a unique sample that I got from my friend again. Uology. This is the brightening mask, just a sample. So I wanted to try that guy out. And we all know I'm horrible at foil packs. So this could take a while. And then finally, guys, you made it to the end. We are down to my letter Z. This is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract Age Defying Renewing Herbal Body Wash. And this one is brand new. The foil is still under the cap. So I will drag this guy upstairs to my shower and see how many months it will last. Probably, I would say, two or three. So. That is my Beauty A to Z Project Pan introduction for the 2020 version of A to Z. And I think that's all I have for you. Anyways, stick around, see how I do on this, this project. Check out the other Pantastic Ladies. I have a new setup. I can actually link them in the description box as I upload this video now. So they will be down there and Hopefully this year I will be doing better with all of that. So there are lots of wonderful people in this group, in collabs. They're, they're great. They're very supportive. And they do awesome at panning. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.